Thanks, Dr. Williams. Up next, let's go to Karen. Karen, if you can go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Hi, Dr. Lee. Um, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. My question is related to TMAO. Um, and my understanding and from what I've been hearing is that on a vegan diet, or not vegan, whole food, plant-based, no soil, no, no salt, oil, sugar, very pure, no processed foods. The TMAO should be relatively non-existent. If it's not, is it possible and it's elevated? Is it possible that maybe four grams a day of fish oil, since fish can be a factor in this, be an issue? Or would it be something else unrelated to diet so, maybe? So it's a good question. Um, trying to dissect TMAO sources uh, having to do with choline, phosphatidylcholine, beta in creatine. Um, that it has been done a little bit by the Cleveland group. And they say that white meat like chicken does not generate nearly as much TMAO as red meat, but that fish actually has TMAO. And that is the, the smell of TMAO is the same smell as rotten fish for, because that actually is the smell. And so, um, the question is, since fish is a little safer, is that TMAO mixed with saturated fat, mixed with cholesterol, mixed with inflammation or C-reactive protein, interleukin-6? Um, you know, what is it that makes uh, fish safer in long-term studies, short-term studies, like I showed you the Mediterranean diet, it's not safer. Um, so I, I don't know that I could answer that question about um, whether or not it's the fish oil that's keeping it elevated or, or if, you know, fish oil instead of red meat would probably lower it, of course. Um, so that I, I think you've got a good hypothesis that needs to be, uh, needs to be studied. Thanks, Dr. Williams. Up next, we have Leota. Leota, if you can go ahead and unmute yourself, please. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Leota, are you able to unmute? Uh, let's go ahead and actually move on. Uh, tech team, let's go to Elise and Mark. Elise and Mark, if you can unmute yourselves, please. Hmm. Let me make sure my tech team is Elise and Mark. Let's see if I can ask them to unmute from here. Hmm. Something strange afoot. Let's uh, go now to Margaret. Margaret, are you able to unmute, please? There we go. Hi, yeah. hi Margaret. It work? Yes, hi. Thanks very much, Dr. Williams. My question is for elderly people, say over 75, I've read that they have less absorption of omega-3s from you know, flaxseed and chia and other um, sources. Um, do you agree with that? And if so, um, do you recommend omega-3 supplements, uh, algae-based? So first of all, I have to uh, give you the disclaimer that I've not seen randomized trial evidence, okay? Um, that uh, would substantiate either the decreased absorption or actually the benefit. And I know that we have uh, folks um, uh, who would uh, argue vociferously in favor of um, omega-3 uh, fish oil supplementation. I can tell you that biochemically it makes sense. And, and, and then in terms of avoiding saturated fat, PCBs, mercury, uh, and um, uh, TMAO, and uh, that it really should come from, like you say, uh, from uh, algae and from other sources, uh, seeds and, and the like. However, there's a big issue with omega-3s and that is multiple randomized trials showing no benefit. And it's been a plague on cardiology over the last few years. There was one trial that was so positive, uh, the Reduce It trial that uh, shocked everyone and got FDA approval for high-risk patients. And they, it's where they had taken the fish oil and separated the DHA from the EPA and used the EPA only. Well, it turns out that um, 
they're being criticized because they did a placebo trial and the placebo was actually um, mineral oil as opposed to using the placebo of corn oil, which some of the other trials did. So comparing the animal laden fish oil that you weren't asking about, I know, but it's, a, it's such an important point to get out there. Uh, corn oil versus uh, uh, the omega-3s, the usual type of supplements showed no benefit. And the EPA alone did show a benefit, but it was up against a, a placebo that was actually damaging. So I think the whole field is, needs more data, much better data than what we have. Uh, it would be great to be able to answer your, your question um, uh, with direct evidence.